so today it is part two of my studio makeover. If you didn't see part one, I will just link it below. And you will see here all the finishes of the wallpaper, the finishes of the walls and the ceilings, and the finishes I had to do at the top of my walls. You will see the painting of the furniture. I had also some footages I took at the beginning of the year in January, February 2000. 18 and I included it at the beginning of this video just to show you how the furniture turned out at the beginning, how they looked like before and how they turned out at the end. I mentioned in the studio makeover part one that I had found a mirror and I actually found it. It is just behind me. You're going to see how I painted it. It wasn't really precious or anything. It was already painted so I didn't feel guilty to paint it also and to add a little something so that the color would match everything. I also used only shock paint to paint my furniture. So if you're not really familiar with that, you can find tons of resources on YouTube. I'm just a beginner in this technique. I'm not going to give you some advices or suggestions. I just found it really, really fun and easy to do. So if you are interested in this shock paint waxes technique, you can find what you need online on YouTube. There will be Tons, on tons of videos about that. And all the furniture pretty much come from Le Bon Coin, the second hand website where I buy pretty much everything. There is the shelf I have over there which belonged to my grandmother, this one, and it was sleeping in an attic for two decades and it was time to be used. So I was super happy to, uh, to use it and you will see in the full studio too how uh, everything is used and I'm super super pleased about this one. Um, otherwise, I think you already know the other pieces of furniture. So let's start by the footages I took last winter with the painting of my shelves on my desk.
did the last day of my makeover so I have already been added I have added the, the two shelves I've had uh, some help for that from a friend because it's pretty challenging to add them so those you already knew this one and this one is a new one a new old one actually I will let you know about it a bit later the curtain stick has been added too super pleased about that because I'm going to play a lot with my curtains and this morning I have still a lot to do. I have to fix all the problems at the top of the wallpaper. Let me tell you that this thing doesn't work at all and I bought... I bought two of those. Well, for my with my wallpaper. Maybe it would work with another wallpaper. With my wallpaper it doesn't work at all. So it's something you are supposed to attach and to glue. It's a sort of sticker you can attach at the top of your wall but it doesn't glue at all so and um, I wasn't really sure it would be pretty with this very black shadow so I tried and it didn't work at all so that's why I went to go back it was a shortcut I wanted to go with a shortcut and you know what when you want to go with a shortcut you have you are punished and you have to go back with the normal normal world so I went to buy my wood pieces to add at the top and they are pretty flat here so they have quite a, have a strange shape they're pretty easy and very very flexible which is great for my crazy walls so I have, still have a lot to adjust and I bought probably way too, more, too much but I wanted to be sure I had enough they were pretty well after all you see so you can see the strange shape I have here it's all making some waves because the ceiling and the, the walls are like that and I still have my acrylic thing to add at the top and to paint with the same paint I use for the ceiling just to hide the shadow because with the shadow you can see a bit the problems and it will hide everything so we'll have to do that it's just a lot of steps but I also started to do this wall so I have pretty much half of the room to do oh, I had done the same you see at the stripping board <laughs> I never remember the word of that so I have done that but of course on the floor it's much easier because you have the the help of your knees and all that so it works just much easier but so I did that everywhere my angles are never terrible but I think it's just finished thing really well I'm happy about that Also going to finish the edges of the fireplace you can tell here this part was made in plaster this one in marble the main part of the fireplace and it has been damaged and my wallpaper was not exactly uh, arriving too um, too close so I have to do a sort of trompe a fake paint imitating the marble so I'm doing that I've done the top I've done all the edges of the fireplace too and it, I think it hides everything it, it makes really uh, the fireplace really really neat I really like that so and it's very fun and very addicting to do so I'm happy to do this part there were some boring tasks some boring things to do but this is really fun so I'm going to finish and to reach the floor really because here it has been damaged so this part is really plaster and this one was marble
one thing I'm going to tackle today is the mirror, which is green. It's not a bad green, I quite like it for this purpose, for an accessory of furniture. I'm fine with green, not with my walls. And it had this stain here, so I think I'm going to paint it with the same color of my shelf and all the other pieces of furniture in my, in my studio because I think that I'm going to have too, too many green things because I have my lantern, other things which are going to be with a different green. I think for the main furniture it's going to be more pretty to have the same green. Thank you so much for watching this part two of my studio makeover. I will see you next Monday for the full studio tour. I can't wait to share all that with you. For now, you can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. You can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos. 
and I will see you very soon. You can ask me your questions and ask your comments just under the video. Thank you very much for your kindness, for your support, and I will see you very soon.